Boy, am I excited about this. This is going to be a great video cast. We have an amazing event next week, Zoomtopia. And uh, one of the companies that's going to make a giant splash at Zoomtopia is Yealink. And I'll bet all of you who are watching this have heard something about Yealink uh, because they've done such a great job growing their brand inside of the UC space. And that is the future of kind of everything we're connected to. Um, so I'm excited to be doing this pre-Zoomtopia video cast, but you could be watching this after Zoomtopia. So we're going to make you kind of aware of what they did at Zoomtopia and click on any of the links below because all the stuff we're talking about today, you can have access to by clicking those links. Uh, first, I want to introduce Regin so, so, who's the senior uh, sales engineer at Yealink. Regin, how are you doing? Doing fine here. How about you? I'm doing well. And this is a good example Great. of how awesome technology is. He's using a Yealink camera in China, and I'm in Chapel Hill, North Carolina. And Mr. Lance Ford, uh, who is a Zoom room educator at Zoom themselves, the actual company Zoom, who puts on Zoomtopia, he is in Oklahoma. I am. It's good to see you, Gary. Thanks for having us. It is amazing. And, and really, no one can argue that Zoom uh, did not save the world uh, over the last three years, literally. I mean, uh, if, if it weren't for Zoom, schools would not have remained open. I mean, basically, they made the platform free for all the K through 12 and higher education. My organization, I teach for the University of North Carolina. We went completely to Zoom uh, and, uh, and it just, you know, saved education. And we're going to kind of focus on education. And I know that Zoomtopia, uh, Yaelink will be there in booth 12A. And Regend, uh, you know, I know that Zoomtopia is going to, you're going to have a focus on higher education at Zoomtopia, specifically launching new AI powered hardware uh, solutions featuring, uh, for Zoom, featuring educational applications. Yep, that's correct. We actually work with uh, Zoom since the year 2015. We have been a hardware partner with Zoom. And right now we do introduce a lot of the AI powered hardware, including the multicam solutions like the uh, UBC 86 that is Zoom Intelligent Director supported, as well as the meeting bars that supports the noise cancellation technology, as well as the video fans and audio fans that is very suitable for meeting rooms as well as the education scenarios. Right, and, and uh, we're showing some of those educational products now on the, on the screen. I wanted to, um, you know, I know all of this stuff has existed at some level, but now we've got a deeper integration with Zoom, is that right? Yes, that's correct. With Zoom's Intelligent Director, it would be really great to have this kind of AI technologies to be in use in the conference rooms, getting people captured from different angles and getting the best shot for each of the people. And, and, and you know, this, this is interesting to me because, um, you know, when you're in the room, you see the nuances of the meeting. So you see the people talking, whoever that is, if it's an instructor or a student, but you also see the reactions of everybody else. And Regent, I think what you're talking about with Intelligent Director is those reactions um, and the ability to capture everything going on in the room rather than just the speaker. Yes, that's correct. Yeah, and is this, this, this uh, Lance, I mean, obviously, you, you know, you're involved in education, that's your, that's your sort of domain. Um, you know, I think in meeting rooms, it's obvious how this is gonna benefit, but how do you see this benefiting um, the educational institutions and how should they integrate or sort of uh, deal with this uh, as they as they add this feature in? So Gary, I mean, from an educator's perspective, one of the things that most educators don't want to do is be in one place strapped to a desk, right? They want to be up and around and they don't want to be thinking about technology when they're engaging with learners. Likewise, from a learner seat perspective, you're absolutely right. I need to be able to see learners regardless of where they sit in the space. So Regin has mentioned a couple of times it's intelligent director. This is a multi-camera solution that allows the cameras to basically communicate with each other. So when someone's sitting on row one and then maybe somebody's on row two behind them, a secondary camera would better image that person on row two. Those cameras are talking to each other dynamically to make that happen. All the while with the multi-camera solution for Yaling, allowing the faculty member to do what the faculty member does, which is move over here and talk to this group of people. Move over here and talk to this group of people and just be able to engage and teach 
Um, I I love what you said about you know reading the nonverbal cues in the room. It's been said that eighty plus percent of communication is nonverbal. Yeah. So it's the or the or the that really what <laughs> our students are thinking. So having these solutions from Yale Link just makes it smooth and makes it frictionless for the faculty. And Regin, you have to love what Lance just did <laughs> because he yeah. literally demonstrated the functionality. Uh, while talking about it. I'm very impressed. Uh, and by the way, we did not rehearse this. This is literally real time. You're watching this recording. We're not editing this in anything like that. Regin, um, how, how, do you, how do you think AI technology is going to sort of transform things? I mean, obviously we can see uh, fr from the visuals and what Lance is doing that you know, the camera's following him around and also smart enough to know when to pull into him, zoom into him and zoom out. Um, and, uh, but, but it's going to go well beyond that, isn't it, Regin? I mean, this is sort of just the beginning. Yep. Correct. Uh, from my perspective, I believe that AI, we are still at very early stage where people are walking around and we do the automation of the capturing people. And I believe Zoom has more to come, which Yelling is very dedicated in working with Zoom to support all the AI features that Zoom is going to propose real soon. And yeah, I believe and that there are really many AI features that they are going to introduce in Zoomtopia, which yeah, and, I will and, leave it to And Yalink has sort of an integration relationship with Zoom. And of course, you know, if, if in case you haven't paid attention, it's Yalink, Y-E-A-L-I-N-K dot com. Uh, Lance, for you, um, obviously from a remote participant standpoint, you just demonstrated how it helps me, but I'm curious how it benefits users like IT managers, teachers, and, you know, beyond the students that are remote. So one of the great things about the partnership with Zoom and Yalink is first and foremost, those IT managers aren't running down the hall when something happens, right? Zoom provides through its portal access directly to the Yalink hardware. So that some troubleshooting, some control, maybe some interaction that the faculty member is just not comfortable with can be done by those IT specialists as a part of it. But to your point, Gary, it goes beyond the live experience. Um, in a high flex world of learning, which we find ourselves in 21st yeah. century, it's really, it's really a demand from students. We want to be able to give them not only transcription of content where they can find the appropriate things after the fact, but we also want to give them translation. So mm -hmm. one of the things you'll see at Zootopia is a lot of transcription, translation, and even the ability for a student maybe to come five minutes late to the meeting or the class, type in what did I miss and have AI give them a quick summary of what has already happened before they got there. Yeah, so, that's amazing uh, to me. That's, yeah, so, so that's an incredible. executive summary. Yeah, go ahead, Regin. Yeah, that's incredible. As a, as a student, I would say that always, it, it will be always in the education scenario that students will just like, suddenly they just miss out something that the educator said. And that AI feature will be the great thing that can help the students to get notes even when they are not on it. Yeah, yeah because you get the transcription and translation and that, that means that, uh, I mean, Technically, you could be anywhere in the world and pick up a class and really understand what's going on, and that's significant. And and you don't have to take notes, right? And you can also, because of AI, you'll be able to search for. I remember the the professor talking about something, search it, and it'll find it in whatever class it was being searched. You know, Regin, I know that next week is a big week for you, and I know you're going to show some new stuff. But any chance that we can get a sneak preview of what you're going to actually? I mean, Zoomtopia is uh, October third and fourth. If you haven't signed up, just go to zoomtopia.com. If you're in Northern California, you'd be crazy not to go. Number one, it's a fun event. Um, number two, Eric Yuan, who founded Zoom, actually uh, participates in this event. He goes around and serves food and drinks, and he's also engaged with everybody. It's a chance for you to actually have an impact on the future of Zoom because he'll listen to what you Everyone at Zoom will listen to you, what, what features you want and functionality you want. But Regin, I'm really curious what, what Yaling is going to do because y'all have gone from, uh, you, you've transformed the company and now have full-on PTZ capabilities with AI and, and uh, you know, got video bars and audio. I mean, you've got everything in, in UCC, but I know that education is a central focus. So give me some hints as to what you'll be coming out with. So right now at my back, I actually got a Dash Vision A24 right here with me, which we are actually going to showcase during Zoomtopia. So this is an all-in-one devices with a 
3.8 inch touch, touch display, which it also supports as personal Zoom room, as well as what your reception is. So, so that's what you would use, for example, if you had a home office or you were going to, um, in a co-working space, it allows yes, you to exactly. have your own personal Zoom room wherever you are. Yep, that's correct. And with this device, you can actually use a single USB-C, which you can do the BYOD directly to your PC, providing reverse charging and many more functionalities together with Zoom. And how big is that again? How many inches? 23.8 inch. 23 and a half. So almost 20, uh, almost 24, 24 inches. Yeah. Yep. That's cool. Right. And it's touch. Yes, it's touch display. Very nice. Very nice. Yep. That's really cool. Anything else that we should be aware of? Well, I believe that you should stay tuned to Zoomtopia. Which I mean, <laughs> we're going to have to. So we're really cool. We are going to be there. We're going to have a team there shooting videos of everything that we see. And we're going to be reporting the news live. So you can actually check in on our website constantly because we'll be posting news stories and videos as quickly as we can possibly do it. So you just go to raypubs.com on October 3rd and 4th. And there's already some news on our website. Now you can actually go to our website, raypubs.com and type in Zoomtopia and find the news we've already uh, reported on the show so far. Um, and, uh, and, and I'm really excited. Did I miss anything, Lance? You want to show me anything else? you got a great setup there, by the way. No, I just one last thing. The power of that little H24 box from a teacher's perspective, and now Zoom incorporates a thing called Zoom Room Companion Mode, which means that that device could sit on the desk, come back to the teacher, be a gallery image, and then the main room system could be gathering all the images from the students. We can annotate on that, do all sorts of stuff. So, yeah, you know, I wanted to, I want to shout out to you on that too, because you mentioned the word high flex, which almost nobody in UC does because they don't understand education. High flex is this, the way you have to build an environment for education. Hybrid is fine for meeting rooms, but you got to do it in high flex. And the difference there is that if Lance was teaching, he he's going to want to see those students not a bunch of little small squares, but in a bunch of little uh, big squares so that he can interact with the students remotely. And by the way, uh, Yaylink has that functionality built in. So do not, do not dismiss Yaylink just because you haven't heard of them. Y-E-A-L-I-N-K.com is where you can find all the information about Yaylink. Regin, you're in China. You're going to be heading over here to the U.S. Uh, for the show. Uh, have a safe flight. Thanks for joining me today. I appreciate it. And uh, same for you, Lance. Uh, I appreciate what you did. And thanks for the demo. And uh, look, you're going to need to watch out what's going on here. So check, check out all of our coverage at raypubs.com. Type in Zoomtopia and you just kind of hang out and watch it as it comes in on June, on uh, October 3rd and 4th. Or, of course, you can go to yaylink.com and they're going to they're gonna post everything on their website. I guarantee you by 9 a.m. Uh, or shoot, sorry, by noon on October 3rd. So uh, check it out, noon Eastern time. And uh, look at that, Lance. Lance is doing his thing. I like that, Lance. Way to go. Thanks, guys, for joining me. Thanks, everybody, for watching. All our coverage is at ravepubs.com.